First day kid, okay? In case we have any. سمپال موندن که آنه یعنی یعنی چیز مانو میتا اگه در بوی چی داد؟ برد دست نمتیم نشتیم او دیگه ساجق است خواه میریز چیش میکنم مایکرو های شکار داری؟ آبا تا در تلیزون سای کرده این جره سای کرده نه این جره یه سایک کوارد وازش سنایپر من ماره ماره این رگ از کوپی زاور دن از رگ رامون دکتر قانون دانا انشالله Sit down right here. Thank you, Lebo. You're in the Mahtaba scene. Sit down. Ball, Jordan, show the good guys. چی از اینجا؟ بیا بچه اینجا راکت لانچ کنه بی لانچ 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 این از کلش کده ما بولو ازد این از کلش کده ما بولو ازد That was the most amount of water. Oh, oh the moon. Now I know. Wait, wait, wait. All right, then air. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm going to talk to you. افغانستان است آن خوب زر رای خواهد چپ کن
I don't hear him curious before. If you're not sure, have you ever asked a question before? Raise your hand. You've ever had a question? Una pregunta. You've ever asked one? You've been curious. That's what we do. Two, one. All down. Yay! Show of hands if that's what you thought was gonna happen. Yeah. Most exciting thing you saw all day. <laughs> Don't worry, the day is not done yet. There's lots more to see. Not what happened this time. Any ideas? Yeah, what do you think? Yeah. Um, I think that the when the wheel falls, it it won't actually fall straight down. And the and it will be if you were to drop it fully and there wasn't a handle there, it would drop flat. Instead hypothesis the wheel stayed up right the wheel is spinning remember objects in motion have momentum when they're going in a straight line we say this we pay back and forth if you want me to stop talking do the experiment all right here we go now remember i said it was going to be noisy if you want to cover your ears now then it's time to do it here we go three two one Noor, you have a long hair, go there. I want the volunteer. Let's put up enough charge. Those charges that are the same want to get away. Lightning, boom. Lightning strike your house, right? You let it build up. I can take some of that away. So lightning rods. One way to take charge away from a cloud. So wrap everything up. I've got one last experiment to show you. Powered on. Check this out. Here we go. Three, two, one. Are they going to float? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I give you the UFO fountain. Look at Yuri's out and behind you is our programming station and the computers that run everything is back there them you guys get to see what's going on behind there no cell phones please museum of science and curiosity you guys are all chilling out in that dome there with me <laughs> Uh -huh. Where's Kelly? <laughs> so as we leave our Earth behind, we can see a few different things. Right now, this is the side of the Earth that is experiencing daytime. As it rotates around, we should be able to see the other side of the Earth, which is currently in night. Whoop. Get away from the sun, giving us that lovely night. Now, our Earth is just one planet in a group or system of planets. Our planetary system is called the solar system. It gets its name because the Latin word for... So here we can see our orbits that our planets take. We have our four inner planets or our terrestrial planets. They are the smaller, rockier planets that we find closer to the sun. And then further away, these outer rings are the orbits of the outer planets or the gas giants, the planets we find further away from the sun. What we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and begin our journey at the center and work our way out. Now our sun is a star at the center of our solar system and this is our closest star to Earth. Its gravity holds the entire system together from the tiniest particles of debris to the largest planets. Do you guys see those black spots on the sun's surface? Anybody know what those are called? No. Oh, I think I heard somebody say sunspots. That's right. They're areas of the surface that are thousands of degrees cooler than the rest of the sun. And part of that is because they're areas of high electromagnetic activity. But this isn't the only way that we can look at the sun. This image was captured by NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory. By using special filters and cameras, scientists are able to study specific features of the sun. Like here, we're able to see loops of plasma coming off the sides. We can see this nice outer atmosphere called the corona. In this outer atmosphere, sometimes we will have coronal mass ejections where those loops of plasma will come outside the corona traveling for millions of miles. 
and that those eruptions will actually affect us here on Earth. Sometimes we'll have problems with our satellites, with our radio communication, and it's what gives us those beautiful northern and southern lights. All right, we're gonna go ahead and leave our sun behind. We're gonna head out for our very first planet. Anybody have any guesses what that one is? Mars. Uh, not Mars, but it does start with an M. Mercury, Mercury yes. It does look like the moon. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. But even though it's the closest, it's not the hottest. That's because Mercury doesn't have an atmosphere to retain heat. So this side of Mercury that faces the sun can reach temperatures of 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Always makes me wonder what could have hit into Mercury to make a crater that huge. It would be its evil twin. Venus has a thick toxic atmosphere of carbon dioxide and those yellowish clouds are sulfuric acid. Yes, acid. In thousands of volcanoes. More volcanoes than any other planet in our solar system. Yeah, our lovely Earth is in a special part of the solar system called the habitable zone. That means it's a distance from the sun where liquid water can exist and let life as we know it flourish. This is super important. Because as we can see, roughly 71% of the Earth's surface is covered in water. And you might be able to spot another familiar object. Yep, to the right of our Earth, our only natural satellite. We're going to go check it out real quick. For a long time, our moon was the only one that humans knew about. That's why we call it the moon. Though we now know other planets have moons as well. Moon. And these dark spots for a long time were thought to be oceans or seas, which is why they're called Maria, which is the Latin word for sea. Though when astronauts visited the moon back in 1969, they were able to confirm that's not water. It's just darker spots. And as we go ahead and get closer, get a better look at some of these, we're going to zoom in and check out a recreation of the Apollo 17 landing site. Astronauts have been to the moon six times since 1969. The Apollo 17 was the most recent moon mission in 1972. And that is our astronaut and geologist Harrison Schmidt. This photo was taken during that mission. And it's been a while since anybody's been to the moon, but we're not done there. NASA is hoping to get astronauts back on the moon as early as 2025. Their goal is establishing a base camp on the moon's surface for further exploration. In the Arctic space, there's always more unknown out there to spark our curiosity. Curiosity is what inspires scientists to keep exploring, and it's what we hope inspires you as you explore, and hopefully inspires you to become scientists and engineers, and get some of those answers for the questions that we still have. All right, this is, we can also see planets. We can see Mercury, it's going to be very faint because the sun is very bright down here, but as the sun starts, sets further below the horizon, we're gonna be able to see it a little bit better. So we still can't see too many stars, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward one more time to about two hours after sunset. Oh, there's Mercury nice and bright. Wow. So right around 10 o'clock tonight, these are the stars we'd be able to see here in Sacramento. Now, unfortunately, because we're in Sacramento, that means we're dealing with a lot of light pollution. And light pollution comes from cars, 